This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. All right, well, the Atlanta Hawks posted Chloe and Gunna at the game courtside. Now, they were sitting right next to each other together, and, you know, he had shot his shot at her before when that picture went viral of her licking the mic when she was performing, and he posted, it's the tongue from me, the tongue emoji. So she never responded to that, and she did say on The Breakfast Club, and she also wrote that she didn't know she licked the mic till after she watched the performance. But I did see people also commenting that Gunna and Chloe uh, are cousins on her father's side. So not sure if that's true or not, but... Charlamagne, wouldn't that make Gunna your cousin as well? I've never seen Gunna at any family reunions, so I'm, I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. you never seen Chloe there or Hallie? You don't know that. You've never asked me if I've seen Chloe or Hallie. <laughs> Have you seen them? <laughs> you didn't even know she was your I cousin should, when she came I think, up. I, I think, you I think y'all should stay out of family business. I think y'all should stay oh. out of family <laughs> business. That's what I think oh. y'all should do. I think y'all should stay okay. out of family business and mind your own business. That's what I think, personally. <laughs> Anyway, Pooh Shiesty is expected to plead guilty in the 2020 hotel shooting. And reportedly, the plans are for him to take a plea deal in his federal robbery case. He told the judge he does wish to change his plea from not guilty to guilty, according to Rolling Stone. So according to his defense lawyer, he said, we've entered into plea negotiations because there have been developments in the case that I think changed the dynamics of the case. Damn, we'll man. Salute to Pooh Shiesty, man. No, I really want Pooh Shiesty, you know, of course, you always got to deal with the consequences of your actions, but that brother is very talented. You know, he, he started off the year as one of my favorite rappers, still lo- like Pooh Shiesty a lot. And, you know, I just don't want to see a young brother like that, you know, have to go away forever for a long time because I think he got a lot right. to offer the, the game. And he's on fire right now as well, too, musically. But you got to deal with the consequences of your actions. All right, it's Friday, and that means lots of new music out. Wale's new album, Falarin 2, is out, and so can't wait to listen to that. That features J. Cole, Rick Ross, Jamie Foxx, and more. Okay, Wale. Wale ain't okay. stopped by. He usually comes by every time his album comes out. He ain't stopped by? He be is next coming. Week. He's coming. He's coming. Be also, next as week. we told you before, Kawhi Leonard's Culture Jam Volume 1 is out, featuring Lil Uzi Vert, Young Boy Never Broke Again, uh, Gunna, Young Blue, NLE Chopper, Ty Dolla Sign, Polo G., uh, Wale's on that and a whole lot more. So shout out to him for that. Capella Gray. Um, mm-hmm. Majid Jordan's new album, Wildest Dreams, featuring Drake, Diddy, and Sway Lee is out. Also, Moneybag Yo has his deluxe edition of A Gangsta's Pain featuring Lil Wayne, Ashanti, DJ Khaled. Now, as far as singles, there are some dope singles out today as well. All right. So we already heard that nine-minute freestyle from Big Sean. Well, he has a song right now, Big Sean and Hit Boy, What a Life. It sounds dope. And I know y'all excited for this one. Quavo featuring Young Miami, Strub the Ground. Man, Quavo and Young Miami, I hope y'all know what y'all doing. Okay, I don't think that's an era you want to bring back, all right? <laughs> I see the good brother, 21 Savage. Uh, he's doing a Freak Nick theme party this weekend. Salute to Hannah Kang putting that together. All I know is that era was something special, but I think that they would call that era very problematic in this era, all right? I was actually listening to Splack Pack last week, Scrub the Ground, and I was listening to, uh, to their other song. You remember their other song, Shake That Ass, B-Word, and Let Me See What You Got? I, I just, you know, I, I don't know how they expected us to ever have good sense listening to that stuff growing up. I know, Boy, you still scrub, scrub the ground, right? You still scrub the ground that little dance you do? I still I still got them knees. I still got them knees. I still got them kind of knees. You know what I'm saying? I really okay. do. All right, all right. Okay. And then uh, there's new Elton John featuring Young Thug and Nicki Minaj, Always Love You. So make sure you guys check all of that out. There's a ton of new music out. Of course, we love Friday just for that reason. I'm Angela Yee, and that is your Rumor Report. 